All right, everybody, welcome to another uh, live streaming here at CoralView. My name is Carlos, and um, we want to welcome everybody back again from our, for our almost weekly streaming. Today, we're having um, a fantastic episode, and it's going to deal with food and feeding our tanks, but not just feeding our tanks with regular pellet food or regular flake food or whatever, or even frozen food. But in addition to feeding our tanks with high quality pellet food, we're also going to be talking about liquid food in specifically phytoplankton and how to feed your tanks phytoplankton without having to have um, live phytoplankton or refrigerating it or having this reactor or farm of phytoplankton um, to create ourselves, to harvest ourselves and then uh, feed our tanks. So we actually have a fantastic guest today and his name is Luis from Easy Reefs in Spain. How are you doing, Luis? Hi, how are you doing, everyone? Thanks for inviting us to this uh, wonderful life. That's great. So, um, um, Luis, tell us about yourself Tell us about what Easy Reefs is about. Yeah, well, so uh, Easy Reefs is the aquariums division of the Spanish company Phytoplankton Marino. So I can tell you a little bit about the, the history of Easy Reefs. So in 2005, our project manager, Juan Xavier, he contacted uh, Phytoplankton Marino to see if he could buy some uh, leophilized phytoplankton in order to, to use it in his aquarium. And soon the, there was a relationship that started with them and they started to commercialize some leophilized phytoplankton to, to supply a high quality product for aquariology. Later in 2011, Phytoplankton offered him to, to develop a much more ambitious project and to create innovative products for a marine aquariums. And here we are today with, with the same enthusiasm as the beginning, you know? Absolutely, absolutely. So, uh, you know, easy reefs for everybody that, that is out there. So you mainly are food, right? Marine food, pellets, phytoplankton, rotifers, things like that. But what sets you guys apart is the fact that you don't have to refrigerate the food, right? You don't have to... Uh, put it in a refrigerator and then go and grab a cup, mix it up and put it in your tank. You can actually, you can easily just put it in a dozer, right? Correct? Yeah, absolutely. Our own uh, manufacturing process, uh, we have our own technology and this allows us to have uh, products that are easy to use, let's say, and, and give these advantages for the hobbyists. So trying to create a, a fabulous hobby and not a stressful uh, experience for, for people, no? Absolutely. So we're live on Facebook. We're live on YouTube. We're live on Instagram. So we want to say welcome to everybody joining us. I know I've seen a lot of people coming in from different countries. Um, um, also, uh, you know, fans that we've had before. Uh, Greg Murray, good afternoon, man. Uh, Mark Henry, what's up, man? Uh, Mark Henry is down in uh, St. Louis area. Uh, he lives in Illinois, but works in St. Louis. Uh, Daisy, uh, Jason and Robert, also good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for coming and visit and 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 sharing a little bit time, a little bit of your time with us. So, before we get started with all the marine and easy reefs and food, let's talk about you and and, and mainly you guys are in Spain, correct? Yeah. So we are in the south of Spain, in the province oh. of Cadiz. So we are just we're a coast area, let's say. And this uh, grants us a, a lot of good uh, advantages, also in the business side, but of course in the quality of living, no? This is a wonderful place to live. And of course, we are very fortunate to, to, to have the opportunity to be here, no? <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> How far are you from, uh, let me see, now Madrid. Madrid is in the middle of Barcelona. How far are you from Barcelona? Because Barcelona is right uh, in the corner, right? Yeah, so it would be about a nine hour ride. So I <gasps> think it would be over more than 800 kilometers, probably okay. by road. So it would be a, a nice trip, definitely. Not It'll like nice over trip. there in the States, going from the East Coast to the West Coast, but <laughs> still it will be a long run. <laughs> I, take, I take it there's a lot of mountains and uh, hills in, in Spain, and especially that part of Spain. Um, uh, that's great. Yeah, see, in the United States, you know, once you, once you get past uh, Denver, then it's just flat and farms. All you see is farm, <laughs> farm, farm, farm. It looks like one of those episodes out of the Flintstones where you see the same thing going by every single time. Yeah. Um, uh, 
but um, you know, it, 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 it is, it, Spain is a beautiful country. I, I will love to visit. My wife wants to go there badly and I do too. Um, it does help that I speak Spanish. My wife doesn't speak Spanish, so she's trying to learn. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you know, that's, we we'll wait for that's, you over here. <laughs> exactly, exactly. All right, so you're in nice, warm weather, which is perfect for harvesting all the food and everything that you actually take part. So you're so so everything, almost most of the things that go into easy reefs are harvested around your area. They're not outsourced from Asia. They're not outsourced from somewhere else where you have no control of what you're harvesting. Is that correct? Exactly. So following what we were saying, uh, we are located in a very privileged area because we have the uh, Atlantic and Mediterranean climatic influence. And this allows us to have a very high quality raw materials. So all of our vegetal raw materials are produced in our phytoplankton marino uh, plant whereas the zooplanktonic raw materials are harvested in our Beta La Palma facilities in the Noñana natural space. Now, right now we're seeing a video of the place actually. And this is a natural park and a biosphere reserve. And ah, well, in both, both of the facilities, we have leophilizers. So in this way, uh, we can leophilize the, the product with the maximum freshness. And of course, move from nature into the aquarium with the with the greatest uh, nutritional profile that we can offer. So that you that know is... a bit. No, please, please keep going. So that you can know also a little bit more about the background of the company. Phytoplankton Marino is part of a large business group that owns this Beta La Palma facilities. And this is why we have the opportunity to harvest uh, some of our raw materials over here. There is a vocation in this uh, business group to, to give a value added to the raw materials and to create uh, constantly uh, develop innovation for human nutrition, animal nutrition, cosmetics, functional foods. And yeah, we're right now seeing some of the leophilization process, which is quite interesting, actually. Well, look at that. So, t so tell us what they're doing right now. They put the shrimp right now on the live stream. Yeah. It's okay. being introduced into the freeze dryer, the leophilizer, and okay. this is how we receive then the, the, the shrimp. Then we grind it, and we can see now how is the, the end uh, format. This, uh, you will recognize this very similar to the mastic. Yes, yes, of course, so, of course, of course. That so, would be like the raw material. Then we the add some materials. other microalgae and stuff, and we will have the, the end product. Which come directly from um, uh, which come directly from the from the ocean nature. So they're so the so the shrimp are are feeding on natural food that then they you 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 pul you you dry freeze it, pulverize it into powder, and then make it. So then we transfer that food into our fish. So technically, our fish are feeding whatever they ate. Absolutely. To, to be and, honest, this same shrimp is sold also for human consumption. So we're giving our fish something that is also consumed by by people, and actually it's something very very tasty, you know. And yeah, I, I noticed that because I, you know when I was talking to my friend Jer uh, to Jeremy, um, uh, our our art director here, and the first time we got this food, I opened it up and I smelled it, and it smelled yeah. like shrimp, like sh shrimp shells, and it didn't Absolutely. smell like like some of the, I'm sorry, some of the other food out there smells like stuff that I would probably feed my dog or my cat but this yeah. smell like shrimp and that was that was fantastic so yeah thank you thank you that's that's great you know before we before we move on on um i wanted to to welcome everybody that is new you know we always do this every we try to do this every week at least line up you know and i'm sure there's going to be sometimes when we're not going to be able to do it every week but we really hard our, our producer jeff tries really hard to get everybody or lined up interviews and, and little events that we have um, um here and everybody we actually tried we actually tried to have a wine tasting um event here so you know you and you know Luis and I were going to start tasting some Spain wines because I mean god Spain wines are the top of the list in my in my house unfortunately because of the um because of COVID-19 and the coronavirus Luis can't leave the house and whenever he can you know it's Spain you know wine is an essential <laughs> so you cannot find it anywhere i don't know how you can live with that one but that, so we actually tried we we did try um but 
anyway, we try that. And uh, if you like the ch if you like the interviews, if you like the events, please make sure that you like us on Facebook. Make sure that you like us on YouTube, and make sure that you follow us on Instagram. Heck, you know, if you follow us on Instagram, we'll follow you back, which is kind of cool. You can increase your 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 followers, and we do the same thing. Um, if you are here visiting and you just by chance remember or saw the email from 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 Coral View about Easy Reeves. You know, once this video is over, just at the end of the video, there's going to be a little notification in the middle of the screen. It says notify me. So next time we have a live video, you'll be sent an email directly from Facebook or directly from YouTube, letting you know that, hey, Coral View is live on now. Come and join us. And we always have big giveaways. One of the biggest giveaways that we've been, we're, we're going to be giving today, actually, Easy Reefs and Luis and his company have agreed to give away $1,300 worth of Easy Reef food to five different winner, winners. And that is so cool. So you're going to be getting, uh, you know, people are going to be walking out with, with packages. You're going to have Easy SBS EVO, which we will talk about this a little bit in the, in the, in, in the, in the future. But um, we have Mastic, we have Easy Booster, we have DKI Marine, uh, which is all amazing. This is all great food that personally I use in my tank and everybody can kind of see my tank in the back. Um, I use it in my tank and Luis and I were talking about that. So please like us, follow us. The likes and the follow us gives us the opportunity to tell our, our uh, owner here that the channel is working and that we should continue doing this. So please like us so we can tell David that we, um, that this is working. All right. Uh, I want to say hello to Blaine. I want to say hello to Kevin. Um, I want to say hello to Kyle and Jake Applegate. You know, thank you for joining us. You guys are awesome. Uh, yeah, uh, Blaine said, got the notification. That's awesome, Blaine. Thank you so much for, for joining us. So let's go. So, you know, before we move on and, and uh, you know, because the whole thing about this interview is also to allow our customers your customers yeah. to ask us questions. So we're going to be Definitely. going back and forth, back and forth. So Drama D on YouTube is asking, how do you know when to add these foods? How will these foods affect my nutrients in my tank? So, okay, well. you know, it's a, it's a very generic question. And, you know, depending on the food type, you, you add differently. But let's, you know, let's talk about Easy Booster and Easy EVO, which, is, which are some the dosing wise are somewhat similar. So when should we add these to our tank? Well, so, so that everyone knows in the ocean, the phytoplankton is the base of the trophic uh, chain. So therefore the, the phytoplankton is the base of life. And therefore uh, we should always uh, dose uh, phytoplankton. This is what we think because it will benefit for all the microfauna in the aquarium as well any phytophagous corals and filters. So therefore it's very uh, advantage, it's great advantages to use this product. And it's also very it's simple to use. As we will mention later, you can use it with a dosing pump or whatever. You don't need to, to keep it in the fridge. So you, you should just uh, use it and you will start seeing the results after some time. Some people think that when we use a new product, we it's like magic. We should see the results just away, just from the second day. But this product uh, really requires some time to start working until the system uh, balances and and every microscope, all the microscopic life uh, starts blooming and starts benefiting from this. On the other side, we have the ECSPS Evo. This is the the new product we launched. It is a sublacton based feed for SPS corals. So when you have a, a small polyp corals, this will be a very good food to go also because it's a liquid and you can also dose it uh, with a dosing pump. So it gives a great benefit for people to, to use it automatically and ensure the regularity and the accuracy of the doses. You don't have to be at home dosing every day or you know, if you travel, you have to work, you have the kids, we all have families. Uh, we, we don't uh, always have the enough time or at least the, all the time we would like. So this is a very easy product to use and we recommend to use both of the products because they are different. One is phytoplankton based and the other one is zooplankton based. Okay, so yeah, um, and in terms of nutrients, uh, I've experienced because I've been using it. We were talking this before the call, and uh, I've been using Easy Booster in my tank for like I'm gonna say two years, two years, and 
it, it, it's 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 on a doser and it goes in my tank every single day. And easy SPS since you can, since you guys came out with this new one, I've also been dosing it. And what I usually do is I have a 210 gallon system. Um, and what I do, it's mostly SPS. There's some LPS in there. As you can see, there's a Ganepora that is the size of a, of a Chicago softball, as we call it. It's this big right here. Um, but I've been dosing about 12 milliliters a day of, of, of each. I dose it one milliliter every couple of hours. And I think it does not raise my phosphates. I measure my phosphates every single week on Sundays. And I can tell you with feeding um, frozen food, feeding mastic, feeding the ECSBS, I mean, sorry, ECSBS EVO and the EC booster, my phosphates only go up 0 0.1, 0.1 PO4 phosphates. That's it at the week. And then I bring them down and then they come back up. So there's no preservatives, there's no phosphates on the, on the food. Now, let me make it clear. If you go and dump this whole thing into the tank, then you will get phosphates. I mean, there's, there, it, it, there's no way around it. I think, you know, um, so it's everything in moderation, correct? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we need to understand that uh, all the food has phosphates. Actually, phosphates yes. are required for living. So a little, uh, to an extent, they are required. But what makes it also different with our food is that we use the, the shrimp that we showed before. And this has a very, very low value of phosphates because phosphates are usually on the bones of the fish. For example, this is where it accumulates. But as this is a crustacean, there is no much uh, place for accumulation of phosphates. Therefore, our food has a very, very low value of phosphates. The ECSPS EVO, but also the Mastic, DKI, or other products that, that we will speak uh, after. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I, ha I have Dean right here on YouTube. I use EC Booster and ECSPS EVO. It is better to spread the doses out over the course of hours and not one big dose at night, which is perfect. Thank you. That's the way, that's the way it should be done. That's the way it's best to do it. That way you don't have to worry about it. And then the fish and the tank always enjoys a constant dosage, a constant uh, stream of food coming into it and not just waiting for us to remember when to feed the tank. Because I mean, I can tell you right now, I don't think there's anybody out there that, that feeds their tank at a specific strictly seven o'clock p.m. It's kind of like, oh crap, I have to go and feed the tank. And then you go downstairs. Um, uh, Tim on YouTube, my current dosing lines go directly above my return. Could I dose the food over my return pump or would it be better to have it directly go into the water column? Um, I'm gonna take this one because, sure. um, uh, because it is better to put it in the return in the in the sump and then allow the sump and the pump to 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 evenly spread out in the water and then shoot it into your tank anytime you put anything directly into your tank one coral or somebody that is downflow is going to get the the bulk of it, which for food, it's not going to be a problem. But if you put calcium, if you put alkalinity, if you put anything, any kind of chemical, then it'll just get a big bulk of chemical. And then you're going to be wondering two days from now, it's like, why is my coral closed? Or why is my coral uh, STNing or RTNing? It's because you put the food or the chemical right in the tank and it just got a big dose of it. So always put the food in the sump before the tank so it spreads out and you know then it gets even into the water um, also another question that i that i'm going to clarify here is ecsps ec evo ec booster are about two to three four microns each right uh, uh is yeah. that correct is that okay two yeah. to three or two to three microns so there is no filter sock out there that will filter this thing out. So for those of you that are about to ask, should I remove my filter socks? What I do with my filter socks, it doesn't matter. Trust me, the filter socks are not gonna, the, the filter socks are gonna just let it through. It's not gonna be a problem. So, all right, let's talk about, um, let's go over a um, couple of things in here. So ECSPS, ECSPS EVO, it's a zooplankton. And this is mainly for corals, correct? Yeah. That is. All right. And then Easy Booster is a phytoplankton, which is mainly for zooplankton. 
So it's the opposite. <laughs> Easy SPS is phytoplankton, which feeds our zooplankton, our pod population, small fish, and also feeds corals too. And yeah. this does too at the same time. I mean, so, you know, shrimp pods, they don't, they're, they're, they're not really picky about what they eat. They'll pretty much eat anything they can get their hands on or their little claws on so that it feeds everything. Okay, good, good. Austin on YouTube, which ECSP, EC Reefs products would you recommend for a new reef with fish, LPS, and SPS corals? Well, definitely ECSPS Evo would be the, the, the EC Go product and also the EC Booster, no? Depending on the fish, if you have any finicky fish, you could also give it a try to the new EC Mastic we have that is very well known for attracting uh, many fish. We will also speak a bit more about why it's so attractive for fish later. But I think all of these uh, products will be good, very good. For your LPS corals, Austin, you could use the EC LPS. I don't know mm -hmm. if we got a picture right now, but it's a, a, another of our products, very similar for to the EC SPS Evo but it's just different in the size and also some different uh, components that we use because of the nutritional value of these animals are different than the ones of the SPS. Fantastic, yeah. So yeah, if we're answering questions, this is good. Everybody wants to, wants to know, and there is Easy SPS, Easy LPS, and Easy Booster, which are the three that he recommended. Exactly. So this is kind of like, so we, we would say this is like your starting pack. If you have fish only f with corals, it doesn't matter if it's SPS, EV, you know, LPS or softies, that's kind of like the starting pack that, that would be a good way to start. Always yeah. start small and work your way up. Your system has to be able to handle it and your system, your bacteria bed has to be able to grow and adjust. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a matter of balance, okay? So again, and, and like, like Luis said before, don't uh, expect overnight results. You know, it takes a little while for the results to happen. Technically, I know we like to say I started dosing this and the next day my my tank was exploding. Uh, you know, most likely that's a coincidence. It takes a little bit longer for the for this yeah. for the for the corals to actually react to it. Um, we have Alex and here can the ECSPS be used on a nano? How do I scale dosages down for small aquariums? Okay, so uh, you just need to take the, the recommended doses that we use and go down with them. So for the ECSPS, we recommend to start using a one milliliter for every 250 liters. That if I'm not uh, wrong, it will be about uh, 50 gallons or 60 gallons. So I don't know what's exactly your volume, but if you just uh, downscale our recommended doses, it will perfectly work. Unfortunately, we understand that for very small tanks, it can be a bit uh, a tedious uh, work. But for example, for this reason, we have the Easy Booster Nano, that is a more diluted formula, and it's the same product, but just uh, with a more dilution so that it's easier to use for aquariums like below 50 liters or 100 liters. That will be for aquariums of about 25 gallons or, or so. Okay. Yeah, and I and the reason why is that in you got to remember, remember that the dilution happens at the lab, at the yeah. at the point of pre, of making it. If you try diluting the product yourself, then you're cutting the shelf life. Okay, yeah, so it, it's just one of those things, people. It, these are vacuum sealed and uh, you know bacteria is kept out of here, so the 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 paste doesn't spoil. If you bring it into RODI water. I mean, unfortunately, we're not in a lab situation. So even if you have RODI water, the container that has the, that, that you're mixing could be polluted. The air, particles from the, the air fall into it, the oxygen, everything in there. So then you once you once you take it out of the pouch, then the clock starts ticking. So that's why we recommend go with the pre-diluted uh, formula because then you have that long shelf life that you don't have if you make it yourself. If I All can right. add something very quick sure. here, no, please, also when please. you use uh, the product with our connector, the bag slowly compresses as the product gets out. So this way it's, it prevents any external influence to, to affect the product. And this is why we uh, strongly recommend to use the product in this way. Yeah, there yeah. it is. There's there's that little thing in there and you connect one end to the doser and then like the doser does it perfectly because the doser is pulling 
things pulling liquid out of the pouch. Since it's vacuum sealed, the pouch keeps just getting smaller and smaller and flattening up until the point that there is no thing left. At that point, you have to change it. You know, a question on every network, a question on Instagram, a question on YouTube, a question on Facebook, shelf life. Once you open it, how long does it last? Okay, so following a bit what we're saying, the expiration date, you can find it in every package and it doesn't change even when you start to use it because uh, our formula is uh, able to keep the, and, and the packaging and the manufacturing process allows to maintain the, the original uh, conditions intact. So neither the nutritional profile, neither it will degrade. So you can uh, use it even when you open the product, it will maintain the, the original expiration date. This only changes for one product that is the mastic, the original mastic that comes in a powder because obviously after you hydrate the product with arrow water, the, there is a, a process going on. So this is why we right. recommend to use it in the next two to three days if you keep it in the fridge or if you froze it and put it on the freezer, we recommend to use it in no more than five weeks. And All now right. We have so the new AC mastic that doesn't need to be kept. It will maintain the, the, the initial conditions all the time. Yeah, that is. Yes, yes. So I have this I have this ECSPS EVO, and I just looked at the date, and it's right here. Yeah, it's in the back. And if you see the date, I know you can't see it because of the glare, but the date is February of 2022. Exactly. Exactly. So as long as I open it up, put that put the connector and put it on a doser and it's airtight, so there's no air constantly going in there, this thing is going to last me a long time. Obviously, at uh, 250 milliliters, I'm not it's not going to take me two years to get through that, you know. I pretty much yeah. do 12 milliliters and so forth. Yeah, you know, so anyway, good, good, good. Um, um so we have $1,300 worth of uh, gifts or our uh, price, uh, prices today. And we're going to have, um, they're going to be forced. Uh, one, one of the prices is going to be given away right during the live stream. I'm not going to tell you when. So you're going to have to listen to the stream. And then four other prices are going to be given away also. There's going to be a giveaway code. But again, you have to listen to the stream and you have to watch the stream in order to know the code. All right. And the link is going to be given to us by the produ by our producer, Jeff. He's I think he's posted it. I've seen it there. So once you get that code, go to that link and then you qualify to win. Uh, we also have just a little bit of um, agenda and uh, announcements that we have here. Uh, we have we're still waiting for the swag bags from Abyss. Alex is uh, I think is sending them or, or just sent them out. So it's just a little bit of time to get them but we have not forgotten about you and we also give a big shout out to battle corals for their for their um, uh, battle box that was amazing gift and then the people from news uh, uh, news network reef news network also we have giveaways and um, we are still waiting for the winners to claim their prices so please if you won check your emails and check your messages because Hey, you want something? Don't, don't, don't turn it down. Okay. So uh, again, big thanks to Peter and Jeremy for joining us last time. All right. So we have. Uh, let's see. Any other good questions in here? Uh, uh, hey, you know, Dylan. Peter says, "I would like. I would really like to try this. Sounds like a great product. It is a great product. It is a fantastic, great product. So let's talk about Mastic. Yeah. What's the difference between this little guys? and the old version and that's you know it's 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 it seems like it's small but it's it, it makes the whole difference in the world tell me about it what is this what does it Honestly, do Honestly, the the biggest difference is in the format because the raw materials uh inside the product are just the same of course there is a slight difference because to create a product that can be used over time and it's already hydrated there must be some differences but it's the same product you you can see when you try in the aquarium that fish uh, are also very attracted by it it's very similar what happens with the fish in the tank to what happened with the old uh, mastic with the original one so actually there is not a very big difference between it 
it's uh, we just try to listen to to the to the sector because uh, there was a lot of people requesting this uh, yeah i love your product uh, you have a great product with mastic but i cannot be mixing the product every day so we say okay we we really need to see how can we create mm -hmm. something that enables to to use the product without having to hydrate it uh, every time you're going to use it so now it comes in the form of uh, balls that you can just uh, pick a piece and, and stick it into the glass and, and works exactly the same. There you go. And it works exactly the same. And tell and you know what? <laughs> I'm not going to be bashful. When I got your product the first time around and I saw the powder, I tried it and I'm mixing it up. And, and as I'm mixing it up, I'm like, I'm not going to do this every day. I'm not going to do this. I mean, it's like, come on, you know, this is a chore. And this is coming from somebody that is, that is very perfectly happy cleaning skimmers every day because it relaxes me, but mixing food is not one of the things I want to do. So when you guys came out with this, I was like, genius. Thank you. Thank you so much. Cause it's perfect. You stick it in the glass and then um, you walk away. And you know what the best thing about it is that when I go out on trips uh, um, uh, for uh, uh, Coral View, like trade shows and everything, my dad sometimes takes care of my tank. And uh, so he comes over, he just grabs one and he does, boom, just puts it in the glass and then walks away. I don't have to explain to him anything. So it makes it very easy for somebody else to do it for you when you're not home. Absolutely. which is great look at them there there's the little video thank you jeremy for putting that video you can see that yeah. and there's videos out there of um, um copper band butterflies tell me about that i've seen videos of copper bands i've seen videos of um, um little mandarin fish what yeah. is it about the food that 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 makes them go crazy well uh maybe you have heard of the atp or the adenosine triphosphate molecule also known as the energy molecule uh, the palaemonetes variant shrimp inside the mastic is very rich in, in this uh, exact molecule and fish and amphibians have uh, specific receptors in their olfactory bulb that attract uh, this, uh, this molecule. This happens so that they will uh, get attracted by more energetic food and they will discriminate the less energetic ones. So to put an example, this will be like the aroma for fish is like the aroma that seduces us for a very greasy steak roasted in a barbecue that really seduces us. Uh -huh. This is maybe uh, similar to what happens for the fish with this kind of food. Oh, wow. It just, you smell it and you just go for it. That, that's fantastic. Uh, Dave, no, I did not say that. Thank you very much. I did not say that. And if you want to know what Dave said, read on the comments. <laughs> um, uh, all right. So um, one other question right here. How, how many dosing heads would I need to run a full line of uh, Easy Reef products? Um, and I think, what is it, two, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we, if you want to use the for just aquarium products, you will use the Easy Booster, the Phytoplankton, and the Easy SPS Evo, and the rest of the products will be uh, um, physical. They will be dry, so you will then need. We have other liquid products, but they are more for special needs. So, for example, for live rotifer, artemia, for enrichment, but that will be probably separated for the, the aquarium, let's say, uh, use. That is great. That's great. Now, I had another question right here, and I honestly, this is one of a stumper. Usually, I know the answer to them, and sometimes I don't know the answer, and that's why I'm asking you, and that's why we're here, is that uh, somebody asked, can I use this on other tanks than marine, like freshwater, and can you use it on, like, cichlids? I mean, you know, I'm not familiar with them, so I don't know, but in Europe, that's a big, big market. How, how have, do you, can it be used for that or it's not? Actually, it's uh, directed specifically for marine aquariums. Mm -hmm. However, we know, for example, with mastic that some people have used in fresh water. But what we need to be very clear here is it's a baby uh, fish in the ocean eat ma more nutritional food, more stronger food than fish in uh, in Fresh water. Fresh water. So we need yes. to be very careful with the doses and probably use a, a slow, a smaller doses. However, I can tell you that uh, soon we will be announcing some stuff that will be directed specific for fresh water. But I can't say any more for the moment. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. Well, that's the answer right there. So it may work, but you're going to have to be very careful about it because it's highly nutritious. So if the fish don't eat it, uh, then it might spoil 
the water. So you have to be very careful about that. That's fantastic. I love it. Uh, we want to give a, give a big shout out to Martin, Marty Short uh, because Marty Short is one of our co-pilots and he has been beta testing the easier products. And he actually is the one that wrote, uh, you know, interviewed you for an, uh, an yeah. upcoming blog, Coral View blog post that we have. And then we'll be releasing that soon. And he asked you many questions and uh, it's a really good article. Marty, thank you again for doing that. Thank you, thank you again for taking the time. Uh, we have our beta testers and co-pilot program here at Coral View and they make this happen. They're the ones that, get, that tell us, hey, this works, this doesn't work. And a lot of things that we don't think about, you know, which is which is fantastic. I really, I really love it. All right, let's move on to DKI Marine. You know, and this is pellet food, if I if I if I can call it pellet food, but it's not really pellet food. And if I grab it and I can open it up and smell it, it smells like mastic. Yeah, definitely. So we use the same raw materials. As I said before, we produce our own raw materials. So we have a very big control on, on them. And from these raw materials, we use uh, we use them in different ways to, to create the, the different products. But actually, the raw materials inside Mastic and DKI are very similar. This is why the smell you will have is kind of similar, of course. It's a pellet food, so there must be some differences, but mm -hmm. it's uh, the same. The main ingredient is the Palaemonetes variants shrimp we, we showed before. It comes uh, freeze-dried, so it's uh, still a very nutritional, uh, it has a very good nutritional profile, this food, and it still is a very good uh, product to use for your fish. There is people that prefer to use pellet foods. There is people that prefer to use mastic in a normal base. We try to, to create different uh, formulas with different formats so that uh, depending on your requirement, you can use one or the other. So we, we, we want to be flexible with the community and with the people because mm -hmm. we are actually, we are aquarists and we, we try to think with the heart and with the, with the mentality of an aquarist and, and we want to hear and are open to the suggestions of, of, the, of the people. Yes, please, please. Uh, you know, Facebook and then Mastic, Easy, Bo Easy Reeves has a Facebook page as well. You know, we're talking about food in here. And I know the big trend, at least here in the United States, has been chemicals. You know, ball, uh, two-part balling method and so forth. You add, you add the chemicals, you add the strontium, you add the, the, um, um, the you know, the silica, you know, not the silicates, but you, you add molybdenum, and you, you add cop, you know, you add iron and so forth. Those yeah. are things that are absorbed through the skin. But you gotta remember, corals are two, there's two parts to a coral. You know, there's the, 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 the tentacle with a mouth that needs to feed. And this kind of stuff is what takes care of that part. So we're not, you know, Easy, Easy Reeves is not completely replacing the chemicals. You shouldn't, you know, if you use this, don't stop using your chemicals. But if you use only chemicals, you know, you're, you're only giving your, corals one part of their nutritional needs they need they also need this and you know the great thing about this stuff is the ecsps is that you put it in the glass and when the fish start eating it all this crumbs start to fall over the place which the smaller fish start eating and the crumbs that don't get eaten by anything they land on the coral and the polyps pick it up so it's yeah. just a domino effect. It's a, it's a whole domino effect. So let's give away uh, a price live. Everybody watching, on li everybody watching live on Facebook, YouTube, on Instagram is eligible. Okay, so you have to be watching in order to win this one. You cannot win this one afterwards. So is, uh, let's leave a comment that let us know how often you feed your corals. One winner will be randomly selected from from everyone that comments and we'll announce the winner in a few minutes. So again, you leave a comment on how often do you feed your corals and we'll select one winner from one winner from all three, not a winner from each, but a winner. So post on Facebook, post on YouTube, post on Instagram. And our producer, Jeff, is going crazy right now with three different screens trying to figure out who's the random winner. So, okay, so we'll announce that in a couple, in a few minutes. All right, let's talk about EC Booster. We've, we've covered EC EVO, we've covered the uh, EC uh, the Mastic, and we've covered DKI. But I like to concentrate on EC Booster because out of all of them, that's the one that I think most people will um, um, will 
they they know about it or they they have a knowledge on it, which is phytoplankton. Yeah. Phytoplankton is the base of pretty much everything. It's 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 the it's the food that feeds everything. That's where it starts. So let's talk about this. Um, what kind of phytoplankton do you have here? There's three strings or there's four strings. How many strings, strings are there? Yeah, four so strings. This is, the, let's say, the, the vegetal part okay, of the feed. It's a mixture of phytoplankton that contains four strains, the tetracelmis chewy, nanochloropsis, uh, isochrysis, and phyodactylum. This is good because, therefore, it covers all the needs of the microscopic life and also of the phytophagous corals and filters. So, so that people can understand this is the, the base of the nutrition and the maintenance of the aquarium. So this is why we really encourage to use this product on a normal basis. And probably after a couple of weeks, you will start uh, seeing the results in your aquarium in general, because this will benefit uh, everything, the corals, the microscopic fauna, and in, through this also the fish and, and, and everything. So, so it's uh, really the basis of all. Okay. Yes. You know, we were we were chatting about this, and and uh, I think, in my opinion, out of all the products, if you're going to start with one, I would probably start with Easy Booster. You know, everything because it's, that's where everything starts, and then add the other ones as you as you as you can, and as you you know bring it up. But the Easy Booster, like you said, it's like the base. I think that this is the one where you you can buy this one, put it in a doser if you only have a single head, and let it let it add to your tank on a regular basis. This is the this is the foundation of 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 good food in your tank, and it will feed you know small fish, especially those picky ones uh, like the mandarin fish indirectly feed it because this one this will feed the zooplankton and the zooplankton turns around and feeds the mandarin fish uh, we were just chatting about this i have a little mandarin fish in my 210 gallon tank that i rescue from a fish store it was so skinny um, i felt bad for it and after a couple of weeks you know of looking at him and i'm looking at he that's a trooper fish i'm like you know what if you're here next weekend i will pick you up yes i should have not done that but you know you can't help it uh Two and a half years later, the little guy is still there, and he is very chubby and doing very well. And it's only thanks to Easy SPS, you know, because it keeps it keep keeps feeding my phytoplankton, which is the amazing thing about it. All right, I have another question from uh, Tristan's Reef, and it's a YouTube question: Will the Artemia growing and dosing system that we saw at Reef of Palooza be released soon? Yeah, so actually uh, it, it is more uh, developed for the rotifer, but uh -huh. uh, we are actually currently launching it in Spain. But unfortunately, during to, due to this uh, current pandemic situation, we have had to delay the, and postpone the, the current launch of the product internationally. Honestly, we are not sure when it will be available, hopefully if, soon in the next months and well, so that you can also know a little bit more, we are also preparing a special formula to feed uh, corals with live rotifer. And we will probably uh, send this product along once the reactor is also ready. So there will probably be two, two new products arriving soon. That is awesome. Again, so we are about, we're going to be announcing the winner of the live uh, raffle in the next few minutes. I just want again want to remind everybody we are also going to have another four winners, and they're going to be um, after the show. And our producer Jeff has been posting the link for you guys to go in there and fill it up. The uh, the you will need a code, and the code will be given away in a little bit while. And there's a picture. There's the picture of the phytoplankton farm but it's actually going to be more like a rutter first farm so you can actually you know do it uh which is great i i've been asked this question many times when is this coming out because it looks first of all it looks pretty cool and second of all it, it, you know it feeds our tanks and especially if you have uh you know uh, baby fish that need the right food if you have you know um brine shrimp that you have to raise for the baby fish too and so forth so that this is like the basic of all the, the basis of all the good food you know so i love it i love that we're, now we're trying you know, go ahead we're, we're trying to to keep the, the same mentality and, and bring something that is easy to use and it's kind of a semi-automatic system so the same as with mastic is easy to to feed the fish and finicky feeders 
uh, eaters, we want to bring something that is easy to, to grow your own live uh, uh, food and use it in your aquarium. So Yeah, so yeah, fun. exactly. And I, I love that. I love that. You know, you're not trying to just sell us the food. We are also trying to give us the tool so we can actually make our own food as well, which is Absolutely. which is very unheard of because most food companies, they don't want you to make your own food. They want you to buy their own food, which I, I, I love that. Thank you so much for doing that. Okay, the winner of the pack, Easy, Easy Reefs pack online from YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram is, his name is rd absolute on instagram rd absolute congratulations for winning the pack from easy easy reefs please send a private message um, or direct message to us or you can email us at social media at coralview.com and then give us your information and our producer jeff will take care of you but again the winner is on instagram and is rd absolute congratulations again and everybody that tried you know to keep on trying you still have four more tries for four packs of easy reef product which is awesome you brought up a good point and i want to touch this eventually on uh, on us you're in spain and spain has been hit hard uh with the coronavirus and, and how are you guys handling that at the factory has that slowed you down are you taking the necessary precautions tell us yeah, well, unfortunately, as you can see in the news, uh, Italy and Spain have been some of the most affected countries. And well, it's a very sad situation. Fortunately, uh, our company has been able to adjust and use the, the required uh, protective equipment and gear for workers so that we can continue operating at full operation. So mm -hmm. we have been operating as normal, but of course, taking the, the necessary precautions so that everyone will be safe. Luckily, none of our workers have been uh, affected by the virus and we, we have been taking the, the necessary steps so that everyone can continue working, but in the safest environment possible. No? So wearing the mask, the gloves and the necessary equipment when, whenever it's required. So, yeah, unfortunately, it's a very bad situation and it's we are really fed up of watching the news and only saying the negative news and sad news. But, well, we are starting to see the light in the end of the tunnel, as we say, in Spain. And, and hopefully soon uh, we will start seeing more good news. Soon, uh, since this week, we are now able to go some hours of the day out just to do sport or to have a, a short walk. And I think this has been very good for, for most of us that really want to have some fresh air and start going again to, to the streets. Yeah, that's, that's you know, we're all dealing with the situation. We're doing the best we can. We're trying to keep ourselves safe. And um, I, I'm glad that you guys are taking the precautions needed to keep yourself safe and, safe and also to make sure that the product is correct and it's safe so that when it gets to the end user, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, so. So, you know, and, and also you got to remember the product gets stuck in a, sh in a shelf and then it's transferred to the United States and then shipped to your local store and so forth. So by the time it gets to your hands, it's been untouched for like three weeks or so, you know, it's something like that. And, you know, everybody that touches it is with gloves nowadays. So that's fantastic. Um, let's see. I have um, one question that I have is development funding for your company is yeah. easy reefs a marine only or are you a bigger company with a small department or a small part of it that is for for marine and everything else is for something bigger uh, how, describe that on the company yeah so uh, as i said before we are the aquariums division of the company phytoplankton marino and uh, this company has uh, different uh, divisions, different product lines and projects. One is for nutraceuticals, another one is for human food, and another one is for cosmetics, in addition to ours. So this is very good because it allows us to have a lot of uh, research and development. Mm -hmm. Only in our facilities, we have two molecular biology laboratories. So we have a lot of uh, in-depth information almost for free, which is uh, very positive. So that you have an idea, the aquarium division is approximately 6% uh, of the turnover of phytoplankton marino. 
So there is a lot going on, not only us. And joined to what we said before about the, this situation, we have very, very strict conditions because we work with, with uh, human consumption also. So we are, uh, have a lot of precautions and a lot of uh, processes to ensure that everything will be safe and there will be no cross contamination or, or whatsoever. Yeah, and I want to emphasize to everybody so that the, the mother company, Phytoplankton Marino, actually does research on phytoplankton for food consumption, for um, uh, also for cosmetics, because phytoplankton in cosmetics is huge. So all this research, all this money going, and then you got to remember, food and cosmetics, it's huge. And there's a lot of money to be made in there. So all this research is being shared with your division. And then you turn around and, and, and apply it to, to, to the marine food that we're enjoying. So, you know, this is not just, this is not just a small company in, 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 in Spain that decided to put something together, started at a home or something like that. No, this is done by a big, big company that has the resources and and um, and the personnel to actually do the, the necessary research to find out so you could be certain that this food is actually pretty good and you can see it by the results if you search on facebook youtube you'll see plenty of videos of fish reacting to this food something that very few companies if if any had been able to achieve i mean when was the last time you saw a copper band eating processed food you know like Mastic, you know, something like that. You you don't. Okay. Um, um, it says, Nick Chang, does Easy Reef give you a guide to the recommended daily requirements content of the food? I think it's the dosage part of it, you know. Yeah, I think so. Uh, as you can see in all of our packages, you will find on the back of the, 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 the pouch, you will see a starting recommended dose and then a daily recommended dose. We always state this because each system is different. We can have the same volume, but different uh, biomass, different number of corals, of fish. So each system acts in a different way. Therefore, probably even though we have the same volume, our recommended and, and, and better dose will be a slightly different. So we set a starting dose. And from there, we recommend to quickly rise it at 25%. Mm -hmm. until you get into the uh, daily recommended dose. If you get there and you see that, uh, you know, the growth is going good, you feel that you can keep on rising the dose, you can uh, definitely do it, but always with, uh, with head and, and thinking the things, doing it in a progressive way. It's the same with us. We, we, we need to eat the, and rise the, the food in a progressive way. If one day we eat uh, very small and suddenly another day we eat a huge amount, this won't be good for us neither. So exactly. always we try to help our system and, and try to ensure that it will adapt to the new conditions. Yeah, and also take a look at your tanks. Your tank will tell you. Your tank will tell you. If you dose, 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 and all of a sudden you start seeing a little bit of cyano or a little bit of hair algae growth, then back off of it. Back off of it because you've gone too far. Just like anything else you add into your tank, you do it slowly and you do it methodically. You take notes and you do visual cues that will tell you when it's ready, when you can continue, and when you should back off. So if you're asking how much I dose, start small but then make your way up. And at the end of the day, this is, and I think sometimes this is a lost art, is read your tank. Absolutely. Your tank is right there and your tank, there, there's no better person that will tell you if everything is correct or not than you. You see the tank every single day. You see how a coral looks at its best and you've seen how a coral looks at its worst. So do a inventory of your tank, do an inventory of your sand bed, do an inventory of your, of your glass. If stuff starts going in there, algae, cyano, then back off. Don't, you know, it doesn't matter what somebody in Facebook tells you or somebody, you know, tells somebody else tells you because your tank is telling you don't do it or back off a little bit. So I think that's a lost art that, you know, I encourage people to try to gain back, read your tank, Absolutely. you know. 
All right. Um, uh, for everybody that's asking, I, I know I've had a, a lot of people here ask, you know, what's the initial cost of, of running ECSBS, EC Booster? You know, unfortunately, I don't have the pricing with me and I don't want to say it online because then somebody will say, well, Carlos said this price and, you know, I don't want to get in trouble myself. So you can always go to coralview.com forward slash EC Reefs and that'll give you all the EC Reef products available and the, the suggested retail price. So that'll give you a good starting point. And remember, you're starting with 12 milliliters, but it, it goes up depending on your tank. So a big tank is going to use a lot more than a small tank, right? Exactly. And always check the packaging because it says what's the daily recommended and the starting dose, which is the, the more important. Yes. And I want to say hello, hola to Juan Alejandre. Saludos desde México. Desde ah, México hola, ¿qué tal? <laughs> yeah, see, so we, we speak Spanish here too. So sometimes, but I don't want to break into Spanish because everybody's going to be like, what? Leave. All right. So. Better. Uh, as promised, we have four giveaways, four more giveaways for Easy Reeves. And uh, so far is a total of $1,300 worth of prices. And uh, our producer, Jeff, has put in the link to the form um, during the uh, during the pod, during the broadcast, this puts it on Facebook, puts it on YouTube, and puts it on Instagram. But you need a code. And the code is, you got to listen for it, the code is... Rotifers, R-O-T-I-F-E-R, -E Rotifers, and right there, and you'll win a pack of EC Boost, EC Reeves um, uh, products. So we will announce the winners. Uh, actually, the announcer, the winners will be contacted during you know during the next few days, and um, so make sure you put your name down, go to the link, and the code is Rotifers, R-O-T-I-F. E R, And we want to say thank you to Luis for making this happen. This is amazing, guys. Thank you so much for this giveaway. Um, I know we want to make sure that people in the United States know the product now because we want to sell you the product, but it's it's a good product and we use it here, guys. I've been using it. And uh, if you follow Instagram, if you follow Facebook, I put pictures of my tank, you know, every often. If you look at the colors in my tank, they're amazing. Um, um, I try to keep things simple, uh, you know, with 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 chemicals and food, but I try to make it so that it's automated. So I don't have to feed the tank. I don't have to bother about phytoplankton. I don't have to bother about the only thing I bother about. The only thing I do is feed my tank every day food for the fish. But other than that, everything is automated because I like to enjoy the tank, not yeah. work on the tank. All right. So we want to say thank you to everybody for visiting us. Thank you so much, Diana. That's good. Bob, thank you, Luis. Hernan, thank you. Um, 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 and then Kevin, also Rodifers. Yes, Kevin, the code is Rodifers. He's sharing it with everybody else. Ricardo, your fellow Spaniard, Ricardo Lasso, he's one of our sales reps in here. <laughs> and uh, he just hopped in there. Luis is the man. Yes, he is. Thank you, Ricardo. <laughs> Gracias. Gracias, amigo. Thanks, Ricardo. Um, uh, <laughs> thank you. Is there anything you want to say? To um, um, uh, is there anything you want to say to the um, to our guests, to our viewers? Well, I definitely want to thank everyone for watching. Uh, thank everyone for joining us and and, and seeing this uh, live. And uh, we will also put this uh, interesting interview you spoke about uh, soon in Rift to Rift, so that people can know much more about us. There is a lot of more questions answered that I think that many people will be happy to see and, and read so that they will know more about us. I definitely need to thank you all in Coral View team to, for making this possible to, 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 do, to do this kind of videos. And for sure, we are happy to keep on working to, to bring uh, innovative products, products that haven't been uh, developed yet. As I said, the Rotifer reactor will be soon over there. Also, a specific formula we have been developing for feeding corals with live food with Rotifer. So there is uh, some very, very good products that I think will be a surprise for many people and that soon will be starting to, to, to see the, the light in the public. So I want you to promise us once you release those products, you're going to come back and share the information with us and teach us how to use it, right? Maybe you can do like a workshop. That's for sure. You know? Yeah, definitely. That's awesome. Definitely. Thank you. Hopefully not very yeah. soon. I not very far, you know, a little bit sooner. Oh, All right. So, <laughs> you know, um, uh, my producer, Jeff, says, 
uh, please, uh, you can use the word Rutherford or you can use the word Rutherford with an S. So singular or plural, it'll work. Either one will work. Thank you so much for everybody for watching. Um, again, uh, coralview.com forward slash easy reefs for the products. You can also please like easy reefs Facebook page. They're awesome they put some great pictures and they put content in there if you want to see how good this food is just go to their facebook page people put videos constantly and you'll be shocked of the of the of the food that they put in there and one thing oh god i almost forgot one thing that makes easy mastic so great is that you can mix it with medication too right Definitely. So this product is uh, based so that it's very easy so that you will mix and fish will eat it very easily with a medication or whatever you need to, to give them. So this is also some of the yeah. benefits that, that this kind of fruit uh, allows you to, to, to use. I know there's there's certain food out there. Obviously, there's certain, if you have a reef tank, it's a little bit more intricate or what you, you have to be more selective in it. But I do know that there's a few medications out there that cannot be broadcasted in the water because it's not yeah. safe for corals but if you if you feed the fish with them they'll be fine um, uh, so this is a great way to get fish to eat the food with and minimize the exposure to the corals and any other uh, organism in the tank so um, please don't just grab copper based food and put it in here and feed it to your tank. That does not work. You need to do your research, need to read on the medication, see what kind of, you know, uh, what you can do with it. And then if you need the medication, a medium to, to get that medication to your fish, easy, um, easy mastic is a great, great, great medium to do it. Uh, we want to say thank you to our viewers. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Thank you, Michael Hurley, always a good buddy of mine. Greg, thank you so much. Jeremy St. Louis, great. I love that you use our products. And Jeremy was here yet last week and saying that he used our products and it was fantastic. Also want to thank our producer, Jeff, and our art director, Jeremy. Without them, this channel would not happen. I know everybody sees me doing all the work, but I don't do much work. All I do is have fun and chat. Jeremy and Jeff are the ones that are in the back doing all the work and making things happen. So thank you so much for them. Thank you for them. Thank you for our, thank you again for the owner of the company, um, for Easy Reefs, and also our owner, Dave and Brandy here. They are the ones that give us the okay to, to, to keep the channel going um, if you like this channel again subscribe you know if you love it and you want to hear more about upcoming shows there's a little bell on youtube there's a little message that says you know notify me so um, please sign up it makes it happen thank you again for watching Thank you, Luis. Thank you so much for being here. I know it's Spain, so you're. It's got to be like uh, seven o'clock or six o'clock, ready to get yeah. your dinner going. Um, thank you so much. Thank you so Thanks. much, everybody. Again, thank you. Be safe and stay home. Thank you.